Welcome to Team Fast Eddie and BajaPlanet.com. Today we're going to take a look at and install two products put out by GBE. The two products we're going to take a look at today are both designed for the rear carrier area on your HPI Baja and it doesn't matter if it, it's the Baja 5B or the 5T, it'll work on either. The first one is what they call a carrier link and basically it's just a, a solid link piece and there's two of them and they're going to replace the nuts that hold the carrier on from the back side and one of the issues over time is that with some repetitive movement back here sometimes the carrier can crack where the nuts go in so what this is doing is it's extending the surface area of the nuts to the full size of the plastic that's inside and you'll, you'll see a little bit more about this as we install it and there are two of them per side for a total of four nuts and they have put a link across the back to connect the two together and it adds a little bit more stability in the rear as well as, as keeps them together so they're not as easy to lose the second product that we're going to be installing at the same time is a rear carrier stiffener and these are made out of stainless steel and basically these are going to slide in behind your toe shims just like so and it's going to add some stiffness to the entire rear portion of the carrier. They are put out by GBE and they are both very very well made products. Let's go ahead and install these. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to go ahead and remove your tire. At that point we're going to need to remove the rear hub here. We're going to go ahead and loosen up the set screw and take out the pin. Sometimes the pins will fall out, sometimes you got to give them a little help. This one's going to need a little bit of help. So we'll go ahead and tap the pin out. Set it aside. We're going to go ahead and remove the hub. At this point, we're going to go ahead and take off these four screws that hold the carrier. Okay, let's keep everything from falling over here. There we go. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and remove this if you would like to. Sometimes you can leave it on. The next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and grab the stiffener. And the stiffener itself is going to fit in back of the shim. And as you can see, it, it presses on quite nicely right onto the shim. And then that unit's going to go right back on, just like so. That's what it's going to look like when it's installed. This is a great time to check out your bearings if you've out, been out running. Um, if they do need to be, replaced, to be replaced, again, this is a great time to do that. At this point, if that's all that you're going to do is install the uh, the stiffener, you can go ahead and put it all back together and make sure we got everything lined up here and put your screws back in and put it back together and you have your stiffener installed. At this point, since we are all apart here, we're going to go ahead and install the rear links as well. and. We're going to accomplish that by taking off the top screw here. 
and dropping the hub down. Just like so. And these are the screws that we're going to replace. Let's get a little bit closer in on those. First thing we're going to want to do is to remove the old screws. Very simply put, a, put the, or the nuts and put the screw in there and just push them through as you're removing the old nuts. And then at that point, your rear link is very simply just going to drop in and replace those. Make sure that they're pushed all the way in and we're set to go. Let's go ahead and do this on the other side. We'll remove the two nuts install our link Make sure it's firmly seated, and we're ready to reinstall everything. It's all pretty straightforward. Should take you about five minutes to do both sides. One thing that you are going to want to remember is that we are now going from a nylock nut to an aluminum link, so you're going to want to use Loctite on the threads of your screws. Let's go ahead and put one in here to hold it together. And we can go ahead and install the other three. and we're all set to go. One thing you do want to do is because we did have the boot off you're going to want to reinstall your boot into the back of the back of the out drive as well. You don't want to leave that loose. I'm going to go ahead and put our rear hub back on. With the pin Tighten up our set screw, and we're all set to go. Again, this is the GBE rear hub carrier stiffener, as well as the rear links. They are available at all of your fine Baja retailers. Again, if you haven't stopped by Team Fast Eddie or Baja Planet, we recommend that you do so. You're going to see hundreds and hundreds of videos, reviews, tutorials, and whatnot on Baja Planet. So stop on by and say hi.